at Pet Plant Program, we encourage our seniors to participate in taking plants as pets. Intention of the program is to engage them in an activity. Welcome to Pet Plant Program. Today I'm going to explain what is root-bound pathos and what to do to avoid the situation in the first place. When the roots of pathos are crowded and tangled in the path, it's called root-bound. This is not good for the plant. Here are a few signs to detect if your pathos are almost any plant in a container is root-bound. The growth will be stunned, the leaves will be small, the leaves may also start yellowing. If you have the plant in the soil, then the soil will be dry. If you are using a clear container to grow your plant, you will notice a lot of bushy roots. They will seem like tangled bunch of roots. If you are using see-through container with uh, semi-hydroponic system then you can see the overgrowing roots. Follow these steps to prevent your pathos from, in, from becoming root bound in the first place. Water them regularly if your pathos are growing in soil. I will recommend investing in water meter to check the moisture in the soil to avoid over or under watering. If you are growing your pathos in LECA, then make sure that there is water in the container. I always have the water level to about third of the container. Fertilize your plants on a weekly or at least bi-weekly basis with 20-20-20 water-soluble fertilizer. Lastly, do not forget lighting. This plant is very forgiving, but providing 6 to 8 hours of light will make a huge difference in the growth of your plant. I hope this was a helpful video. Please do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, if you have not already done so and press the bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. And also if you have any questions or concerns or comments, please leave them in the comments area and have a happy pet plant.